Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be talking about the Indian Institute of Technology, otherwise known as IIT. Now for those of you who are based in North America, you probably associate IIT with the Illinois Institute of Technology. However, I want to focus this video specifically on the Indian Institute of Technology as it's not only one of the most prestigious universities in the world, uh, but it's one of the most rigorous and hardest universities to get into, to stay within, and to graduate from as well. Now, one of the reasons why you probably haven't heard of IIT before is, in my opinion, because of the fact that it's actually not very well represented in many of the international university rankings. Now, there's a couple of different reasons for this. My hypothesis is the fact that because IIT focuses specifically on building up its engineering and STEM fields, they're not as well rounded. And because of this, they're not very well represented in a lot of the liberal arts, humanities and social science fields. And so this likely counts as kind of a point against them from a ranking standpoint, even though they're able to churn out some of the most capable and well-rounded engineers uh, in the entire world as well. Another reason why you probably haven't heard of them is the fact that IIT doesn't really market itself in the same way that a lot of the North American institutions do. And what I mean by this is the fact that a lot of what we know about IIT comes from a lot of what the alumni say about the programs that they've been in, but also from a lot of the news reports that are kind of... Uh, being put out as well, and in a lot of cases by a lot of the North American media outlets as well. And so we're hearing of a lot of what the school actually is like and what students' experiences are like from third-party sources and not necessarily from the school directly. And so we're not seeing a lot of informational videos and a lot of uh, pamphlets that get put out through a lot of you know advertising and, and banner ads and that type of thing from the university directly. Now, I actually like this form of um, verification or validation, I should say, because of the fact that it's coming from the people who have actually experienced the program firsthand, and you can actually see how it's impacted their career professionally and personally as well. So I'm a huge fan of that in particular. I also love the fact that a lot of the students that happen to graduate from IIT are going on to some of the most leading firms uh, all over the world, some of the most rigorous firms to not only get into, um, but to actually thrive in and actually move up the corporate ladder from there as well. One of the most uh, publicized pieces of information that came out from uh, regarding IIT was actually the fact that a lot of the students that get into the program have actually had offers to Ivy League institutions that they've turned down in order to attend IIT, which is something that's unprecedented and something that most Americans probably wouldn't believe if you even told them about this. And there's a couple of different reasons for this, but one of the reasons in general is IIT does a fantastic job at blending not only the theoretical aspects of engineering, but the practical aspects of engineering as well, which might be missed from a lot of North American institution. So it's a different style of actually learning. And a lot of the students actually comment on how much more rigorous it actually is as compared to the North American curriculums they get exposure to after the programs as well. And so a lot of students will go into postgraduate studies in um, some North American institutions and in some cases some leading North American institutions and actually comment on how a lot of the information is a lot of overlap with things that they've already covered in their undergraduate experience as well. And so for that reason, it's of course one of the, the most rigorous programs throughout uh, the entire time that a student is actually going to be there and it's going to prepare them for the marketplace, but also for further education if that's a route they want to go down as well. Now to get into IIT in general, now for those of you who don't know, I should say that IIT is actually not one institution. It's actually one institution with multiple campuses all over India. And so essentially what happens is students who want to attend IIT uh, will take something called a GEE, which is a joint entrance examination. And the, these are a series of tests that are administered administered students will take them and based off of the rankings that they have on those specific tests they'll be able to choose which campus they're actually going to matriculate at now there's hundreds of thousands of people taking this test every single year and there's actually a national ranking so the entire country will be able to see who actually ranks the highest in that upcoming class and based off of that specific ranking they'll be able to choose um, if they have a preferred campus that they actually want to attend based off of that of course there's a lot more people who are taking these tests as compared to spots in the program as well, which is why uh, you hear these stories of students who are studying 10, 12, 13 hours a day just to get a good placement uh, so that they'll be able to actually choose the campus that they prefer to actually go to as well. This is also why it puts a lot of pressure on students to not only uh, be, perform very well on this test, but to also have alternative plans in case they don't happen to get a specific ranking that they need to get into a campus that they want to go to. And so that's why we see a lot of students perform very well on outside tests, maybe like the SAT 
MIT as an example, um, and just have very strong uh, GPAs uh, as well to go along with that for them to be able to apply to some international institutions if they happen to not get into IIT as well. Now, my prediction is that over the next few years, we're actually going to hear a lot more of IIT in North America, primarily because if you look at the S&P 500, a lot of the biggest companies in the world now, and it's always kind of been the case, but it's even more so now than ever before, a lot of them are actually tech firms and engineering heavy firms. And a lot of those firms are very well represented by IIT graduates. Another reason is the fact that the GE is going to start to be offered starting in 2017 um, to other other countries as well too. So I believe in the United States, students will have the opportunity to start to take the GEE there as well. So people from the United States who might actually want to go to India to do their postgraduate uh, or their post-secondary school studies, and maybe even postgraduate, uh, depending on what their experiences were like at the undergraduate level, will have the opportunity to get access to that test a lot easier than they would have had in the past as well. This will also make more people aware of the fact that IIT is something that actually exists and how rigorous the programs actually are. I'd like to see in the future for IIT to be included in a lot of the same conversations as Oxford and Cambridge and University of Toronto and some of the other international schools that do tend to get a lot more representation um, and are also heavily publicized for that as well. And so I hope this provided you with some information on IIT and what it's about and whether or not it's something that you should consider in the future. If you go to that school or have gone to that school or know someone who does, I'd love to hear your comments, questions, concerns in the comment section below. So please leave your feedback below. And uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.